The DIY PC Q1 WBK WTF is the updated version of the Q3 model from DIY PC. Now the Q3 has been around for a while. A lot of people know this as kind of the standard for your kind of knockoff Lianli, you know, fish tank look. You know, this is the one where you say, hey, can I get the, the nice fish tank Lianli? And this is the fish tank Lianli at home. But for the price, I think this is a pretty good one. It's mostly the same as the Q3, except for a few major changes. So let's talk about those. Number one, the corner section is now all glass. The previous one had a little plastic connector here, which, you know, it's not a huge difference in a way, but at the same time, it does make quite a lot of a difference. I think it aesthetically, it just looks much better, much more pleasing to the eye. Number two, the fans. Now, this was probably the worst part of this case. If you've seen other reviews of it, if you've bought it yourself, you'll know what I'm talking about. Just kidding. There's absolutely no change. The fans are still Molex, unfortunately. So they still run 100% at all times. You can't control them. So they're pretty loud, to be honest. I don't think it's unreasonably loud per se, but I think it's definitely loud enough that if I personally wouldn't want this right next to me all day. Might be a different case if you have closed back headphones and you can't really hear your ambient noise around you too much, or if you put your PC below your desk, potentially. But if you're like me, you have open back headphones or you're listening through speakers, and this is right next to you and your monitors, I think it'd be a little too loud. To get the color to show, now this is something that I had struggled with at first. You have to keep the extra white plastic connector that it comes with. So it should go PSU cable into the three pin Molex that they provide you with and then the fan and then the fan and then the fan. So this is exactly what it should look like. So you can either control the colors via motherboard software by plugging in the provided three pin connector to the motherboard or one of the fans in here comes with a kind of a built in controller of its own. And so you can route it to the reset button in the back and by clicking the reset button, you can cycle through them. Now, the issue with the Q3 line, the previous generation of this case used to be that the lights would not really keep their color scheme that you set them to, it would always cycle through. So everyone who had the Q3 previously essentially had no choice but to run it either through the motherboard or just replace the fans entirely, which really makes this case not as great of a value. However, the problem still persists that it does keep switching. It it can't stay at a certain color. So I have it currently at the static one. Every six or seven seconds, it changes to a different color. So what I mean by the colors is, let's say I set it to the static color. I want it to just be the red. Unfortunately, after about six or seven seconds, it does change. And once it gets to the end of the static colors that it has, it's going to go on to the next color scheme or the next color pattern, which in this case is the rainbow. Now, number three is the big thing to note here. The motherboard compatibility, it is MATX, but not all MATX. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of MATX boards are essentially shorter version of ATX boards. So it's still the same width, just not the same height. But the ones that go into this case have to be the 24.4 by 21.5 centimeters, not 24.4 by 24, which is what a lot of those thicker MATX boards are. Unless you're okay, I guess, with it going over the fans a little bit, which I don't think looks that great in this case. It kind of renders it obsolete at this point. Now, this is different from the Q3 because with the Q3 case, the motherboard slot is actually a standard MATX, which is pretty nice. Have a Little Black Panther here. This is for a flip build that I'm going to sell later on, which I will link to, to give you an idea of what this sounds like. Kind of loud. I have my own PC off camera here. It's in the Lian Li Lankel 2 mesh with a few of the Lian Li ones, the Thermal Right fans and some Corsair fans. And you can barely hear it. But this guy is, is many, many times louder. So overall, I would say this is a pretty good case. If you can get around like a $60, $65 price point, it's not horrible. For a flip, I think it's pretty good. For your main PC, I'm not sure. Obviously, once you have this panel closed, it does sound a little better. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think the Q1 has improved on the Q3 at all? So really to recap, the corner being all glass is pretty cool. The motherboard compatibility is slightly smaller, which is pretty unusual. The fans are the same consistently goes every six or seven seconds down the pattern that it has, which I think is like pulse, static, 
and then the different waves that they have and it just continuously goes back and forth between all of those. So I would highly suggest using a motherboard color control for this. But that's about it. Thank you for watching.